In this lesson, we'll be tracking and solving our second shot. Okay, so we have our aerial shot right here. This is what I'm going to be tracking and solving. We don't need to change our version since we haven't done anything in this shot yet. So I'm just going to double click that to open it up. And we'll go ahead and not worry about that auto save was all that it was. Um, we'll just zoom in here and we want to begin compositing and doing our solve and everything here in this area. So I'm going to add a camera tracker node. So I'll hit tab and type in camera tracker and we'll just drop that in after the grade. And I don't really have a lot of information about this shot because it is a clip that we got from Dissolve, our partner in providing us with footage. Um, so we don't have, you know, all of the kinds of things you would have if you shot this yourself about the camera, um, lens distortion, all that type of stuff. So what we're going to do is just go ahead and track it with what we have because it's such a great shot with so much parallax. We're going to have all the data we need. So I'm just going to go ahead and click track. And you can see that's beginning to track and we've got a lot of parallax in there. It looks like it's being calculated really well. So I'm going to pause this while this finishes up and we'll come back and continue compositing in uh, just a moment. Okay, so we finished our track and it looks like if we kind of make a little bit of room here and start to scrub through. It looks like all of these elements are sticking to real geometry in the shot and they're not just kind of tracking along maybe with some, you know, something in the sky or something like that. We have so much data here to work with. It's a really great shot for doing a track like this. So I'm going to go ahead and um, come up here and let's take a look at some of our other settings. So we don't have any user tracks yet. We'll be grabbing some of those in a moment. Um, and I can come through here and kind of start to look at the different types of tracks and the, the amounts of errors um, that we have here. Let's also take a look at our settings. And this looks good as it is. We can kind of see uh, what we were working with there. Um, and it really it created a great, a great uh, track for us. Um, so what I'm ready to do now is go ahead and click solve. And we'll allow this to create us some real points here. And I'd like to grab these that are here on this building and I'm going to shift select those and I'm going to going to extract those as user tracks because we're going to want to have those available to us um, later on and those are all underneath one error. So that's really, really good. Um, okay, so let's come back over here and go to where we would create our camera and I'm going to set up a scene. So I'll choose scene and click create. And now I can come down here and you'll see that it's created me this nice little scene camera and point cloud setup. And I can begin to use these elements to set up the rest of my shot. So we're going to come back in the next lesson and we're going to be setting up some placeholder geometry here. Let me zoom out a bit there. I'm just going to clear that camera tracker. There we go. And we're going to create some placeholder geometry for this part of the building, kind of the top and this side of it. And that way we have something for our 3D department to see kind of what the scale of this is. And they'll be able to play with where, how big the dragon should be in terms of this building. And then they'll get us some passes out. So we're going to be setting up the 3D geometry and then writing this little scene out of Nuke in the next lesson.